you're right. Um, I think if you can, if you can quickly just go through the question. Um, let's say maybe you start from the first question which was asked, then I just answer them so that people will not feel like we're just doing this live for our benefit. So, so for their benefit That's that true. we're doing this. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, so I'll start from the start. Uh, there is one. Okay. Pia Taram, which was saying, so beautiful. And M. Atiyo Tengila, as greeting, greeting, Pia. Secret, Red, Nyaka, Rancho, Nera. We answered that one. And uh, there's this one from Tapeloro. He's saying, Shumba, Gat. There. For a fun day. Um, okay, Simba Okozi was just appreciating the show. Uh, thank you, Simba. Alright. Uh, and uh, let me see. Just going down every question. Okay, and this one again from Tapelero. He's saying that what's your average for the under nine? Four. Uh, you know, okay. Uh, my average for under nineteen. Mm. You know, I only have averages for my for my years. You know, like the first under nineteen World Cup, the second under nineteen World Cup, and the last one. So I haven't actually aided them and tried to divide by the amount of the games that I have played. You know, I put so I played a lot of games for under nineteen. Okay. Then. So so I'll try to just say twenty sixteen World Cup. My average was nineteen. And 2018 World Cup, my average was 44. And 2020 World Cup, my average was 42. So I think I've improved by time. So, you know. Okay, but uh, yeah. 50, how many hundreds? Just in total, how many 50s? How many hundreds? In total, in total. I've got. I've got five. 500. International games, international games, right? Then I've got uh, six hundred yeah. just practice games, right? And I've got I've got a lot of fifties. So you know fifties, we don't you know it's, be, it's better we don't really try to count fifties. So we try to like count our hundreds and all that stuff. So I've got I've got I'll, I'll say maybe twelve hundred in total for Zimbabwe under nineteen since I started playing. So it's like yeah. I've played 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19 and a little bit of 20 so that's like five years playing for under 19 and yeah mind you i was too young but then so i was progressing every year <laughs> yeah i appreciate that okay and this one is from the great after the same what's the difference between under 19 competition and playing professional cricket at uh, first class uh i think i think the only difference is if you are, I would say maybe okay. So the, the difference now, international cricket and first class cricket, right? Obviously, you know, under 19, you get more youngsters who are hungry enough to make perform for their country, so that maybe they can get a chance to just come from under 19 going straight to the national team. So maybe I'll say the intensity level differs because now first class cricket, you play with more experienced players, right? Because they've played for the nation before and they've been in the setup for longer, so it now depends with you now how you take it. Like, well, well, like, well, like well, well, what I was saying before, how you react under pressure and what you think is pressure for yourself. So I would say for for myself, uh, playing under 19 was uh, was the I would say the difficult part, right? One of the most difficult stages I've played because you get okay. I was a senior player for two World Cups. So already, when you get outside pressure, where people are like expect you to perform, that's not bad. You know, that's what people, that's what spectators are there for, and that's what people want, right? So you get people who want you to perform, and you get the pressure from your team that they want you to perform, and you get the pressure from me also that you want to perform. So those are three things, only on one person. So now I think for me, under 19 was one of the difficult stages that I that I played, right? So I'd say the difference now between under 19 and first class is how you handle pressure, right? Because yeah. 
pressure is under 19 was only because I was a senior player, but there was no pressure that uh, I was afraid. Maybe I was afraid of India, I was afraid of this certain country and all that stuff. There wasn't all that, right? So there was only thing that I needed to perform for my country to make sure that I put the Zimbabwe years on another level. And I, I personally think I tried to do that, right? And I think um, that everyone's goal to make sure that you perform at the highest level for your country, right? For first class now, you get guys who are hungry enough, right, to perform. They know if they perform at that level, they're going to international cricket, straight up. So it's now mental because you get people who are skilled. You might not get people who are too good at like the, the guys who are playing at under 19 level, but you can get guys who are more skilled than the guys who are playing at under 19, if you get what I'm trying to say. So yeah. now it's how you just cope up with pressure and how you react to certain situations as well. Because now, professional cricket, let's say under 19 in first class, people expect you to know yourself. People expect you to react a certain way that they know you, you're good at and all, and, and all those and all those steps. So I think for myself, right, um, the only difference is how you handle pressure. You know, cricket is the same. Okay. Cricket is like English. If you go to South Africa, there is that. And you go to England, there is that. So how you write that in South Africa is the same how you write that in England. So I would say cricket is like a language. So it's just how you react to pressure and how you cope up with it. So I think there's not much of a difference. There's just different kind of situations where you have to react differently when pressure is applied to you. Okay, but did you feel that there is a certain of um, there's a certain of huge adjustment that you do come from team going to first class looking to play uh, international cricket? Yeah, yeah, there is there is an there is, there is an, an adjustment. Obviously, you know when you are in a team setup, there are things that our coaches tell us how how you play. Um, how you are, okay, let me put it this way. Let's say your role, right? You're an attacking, you're an attacking player. So let's say for under 19, you might be in opening, you might be opening, and for first class cricket, you might be betting seven. So obviously, those are two different things, right? So when now when you go to first class cricket, you have to first analyze. Let's see, am I betting first? Am I betting? Let's say, am I betting number one, two, three, four, five, or am I betting six, seven, eight, nine, ten? So for, for for me, I think there was a huge a huge difference because I was betting I was betting um, I remember I was betting I was betting three I was opening and betting three in the nineteen right okay. so when I went to first class now <laughs> I was betting five six seven right so those are those are totally different scenarios whereby maybe sometimes you go in when the team is. 0 for 1 or maybe 25 for 1 but now it's different you get in a situation whereby uh, the team is 150 for 5 when you're coming in at 7 or the team is 150 well, let's say it's uh, 80 for 4 and you're coming in at 6 so different scenarios so I think it's only you only have to change but you don't have to change how you play but you have to change how you react to the situation that you're given so you approach a certain game with a certain strategy but you make sure that you apply who you are Right, you don't have to change much. Let's say you say I'm an attacking person, but this situation I don't have to attack. No, you can still yeah. attack, yeah. but you just have to use your brain. Maybe you don't have you don't have to hit the ball in the air. You just have to hit the ball on the ground. So I think those are just small adjustments that you have to make. But obviously, you just have, you just have to keep reminding yourself of who you are and how you perform. Yeah, true, true. Uh, okay, Mila. You know, it was great having you back. So I believe, you know, we can talk, talk, we can talk, we can talk a bit again. Because I also noticed that there was another kickback that didn't open. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we're going to see how we can schedule and also get to that uh, practice, practice But it was wonderful having you on the show. I hope uh, you stay safe and uh, keep pushing, you know. All right, man. It was nice to be here, and all those guys who um, came through the lives. I like to say, you know, I was busy trying to explain cricket stuff, but those guys who who came through, we really thank you for your support, and make sure that you keep following Kari Chaiba. There are more, more, more 
more more more live cricket kid vectors that are going to be coming through so make sure that you follow him and stay updated and thank you for your support um and courage thank you so much for for this interview i really appreciate and yeah make sure that you stay safe as well man yeah pleasure man pleasure nice yeah sure, bro.